What's up guys? This is Brandon from Toledo in our garden. And today I wanna to talk about drip irrigation, a few tools, a few parts that some people are just unfamiliar with. So we're just gonna hurry up, break down a few things that you might see in any ordinary uh, drip system. So we'll start off with the solenoid. A solenoid, its sole purpose is to turn on and off irrigation. So if you're having a siphon effect or you just wanna control one zone at a time, electronically or manually, all you gotta do is check out the solenoid. They come out in one inch, three quarter inch is the main terms a lot of people like to use, but three quarter inch and one inch is what I usually use. Another thing right here, this, it's called a pressure regulator. They come in a couple different sizes. Again, one inch, three quarter inch. But um, what this basically does is it helps keep the pressure regulated throughout the lines to evenly distribute the water. So that's the main purpose of this. They come in different PSI, like 30 to 40 PSI, but it's just based off preference. And note, these go in between from your pump and to your feed. So right here, this small guy will flush out water out of your lines before you feed. This can be inputted usually anywhere in the table, but I'll put it anywhere nice. Here's another version right here, but this is a nicer version. It lets out a few spits of water before every feed, just to make sure no sediment or anything really clogs up the lines. We're gonna talk about 17 millimeter tubing. So 17 millimeter tubing is the main tubing you'll see anywhere in pretty much any drip system. It comes in huge coils, it comes in two foot, three foot, four foot, whatever you guys really want. And they come in like these. So you can plop in your drip emitters and at any different stage. And really these guys, they come in all different 0.5 gallons per hour, 0.3. It's all personal preference. There's a lot of preference in this type of work. This is gonna be your end cap, which easily you can put a pressure gauge on this guy. So three quarter inch, um, you could put uh, air bleed valve from Floraflex. There's a couple different things you could do here. Um, you could screw on PVC strictly for easy insulation. But these guys really go on there fairly easy. This is just a different color. It's Floraflex. You pop it off on your tube, you pop it on, tighten it up. It's literally that easy, guys. People think it's, it's really that hard. You know, if anything drips, you just kind of section it off at one at a time. That's it. All right, so we're back. We're talking about the 17 millimeter tubing, a little bit of, about the emitters. Um, the best way to buy these emitters is in the Nedithin packs, I'm telling you. They're super simple. They have whatever length and whatever PSI you want each dripper to have. So if you want 0.3 gallons per hour, 0.5 gallons per hour, you know, it's just, it's just all up to you. It's all preference. But basically just having some of the tools to have it, you can build it however you want. So, you know, this is Brandon from Sleet Owner Garden. I just wanna show you guys a few tips and tricks, man. And if you have any questions, man, call the 12-hour hotline. You know, we do quotes over the phone and everything. So, you know, Sleet Owner Garden got gotcha. you. Boom.